Hello everybody, I am Arnar Stein Hansen and I'm the testing and logistics manager for Power to the People. My name is Maggie Leon and I'm the project manager. My name is Bijan Motia, I'm the safety coordinator and manufacturing engineer. My job is to use the technology of the 3D printing machines along with the technology of the computers that I'm using to optimize step-on boot binding system for adaptive snowboarding. We're helping develop the second version of the prosthetic foot that Mike Schultz uses for Paralympic snowboarding. He created the Versa V2 foot that every adaptive rider is riding on snow. It's the leading foot. Here at Burton, everything that we do is for the riders and we are very rider driven and these folks are just riders just like anybody else. What I want to do is try to eliminate as many compromises that that rider has to do so it works much better just for them. And so that's really genuinely, uh, it's, it's great. It's amazing for the soul. The project started out with the Versa one foot, trying to fit that into a regular snowboard boot. We tried to do that with an ankle cuff, a wedge piece for the heel, and a toe piece. The project eventually evolved into eliminating the boot altogether so that it can fit directly into Burton's step-on binding system. We came up with the exoskeleton that perfectly fits the V2 inside of it that clips directly into Burton's step-on bindings. In order to develop the exoskeleton, we went through a design phase where we drew on double-sided packing tape based off of the shape of the last. You can draw multiple designs and decide on which one is your favorite in order to develop them in CAD. The exoskeleton is attached to the bottom unit, the cradles, which houses the cleats, and a backstay. It has all the critical dimensions to be able to be set inside of the binding. In order to reduce our carbon footprint here at Burton Snowboards, we use, reuse various amounts of PA850 powder with acceptable melt flow densities. Um, those densities can be calculated on the melt flow index machine. Throughout the entire project, we've dabbled with uh, sole plate design. And when we decided to remove the boot and go with an exoskeleton design, we thought that a spring plate just as this one right here would be the best design to give mechanical feedback for the rider during a toe side turn. When the heel wants to lift up, this thing will pull it right back down. Every snowboarder has a different preference as to how high they like their heel while they snowboard. Currently, snowboarders like Amy Purdy drill wedges directly into the back of their binding to achieve the heel lift that they prefer. We progressed from that to making heel wedges that drill directly into the bottom of the foot. From there, progress to mechanical spring that provides mechanical feedback on the heel of the foot that is directly screwed into the rail. And then from there, progress to the spring plate where a screw is adjustable by hex nuts and the heel height can be adjusted according to what the rider prefers. I feel as though our team succeeded in terms of eliminating the boot altogether and creating an exoskeleton with critical dimensions that houses all of the important units that are involved in the whole design. Our project uh, excited Burton to create a new chapter out in Europe um, over the next five years that will be continued to grow, uh, allowing adaptive riders to ride some of the parts we've been working on and to give us feedback as to how they feel about them. There definitely is a lot of room to explore and to create new ideas from. Uh, here at Burton, we're gonna continue to work on that project. So I'm excited to continue to work with adaptive riders and grow the community. Once we have a fully anodized Versa 2 foot, we'll be able to use Burton's cycle tester in order to test it in realistic 30 degree conditions. So what we're trying to do is identify the things that are the most difficult. Using straps, putting your boots on, and making all of that easier. Our philosophy since we started the project is accessibility, adjustability, and durability to help riders all over the world from our best global team riders to adaptive riders as well. We have Burton, we've got the university students, and we've got Microsoft all coming together to solve a problem. The idea is to try to make snowboarding more fun, easier, and inclusive for all riders that want to ride. Winning medals myself is pretty awesome, but when I can influence and help others achieve their goals, that's what it's all about. We'd like to thank Doyle, Sam, Allie, and Brandon for all their help with our project. And our corporate sponsor, Microsoft. <laughs>